This is a great example of a question where I don't necessarily know where I'm going, but I just kind of know where to start. And um, the fact that they're talking about mean tells me that this is actually a plug points into equations question. Now that seem, it might seem strange because there's no equation, right? Now there's lots of numbers, so maybe those are the points, but where's the equation? Well, sometimes we need to provide the equation ourselves. And so anytime I'm taking an SAT, every single math question, I'm asking myself the same thing. Are there points? Are there equations? If I see a question with lots of numbers, odds are good there's something I can do with those. Plug them into some formula. Maybe they give me one, maybe I just memorized one. So the average formula, the formula for mean, is one that I've memorized. That is the sum of the numbers over the number of numbers. That's how I think of it. Maybe you've got another way. And without thinking too hard, I kind of have pieces that I can plug into this, right? So for data set A, um, they tell me the um, mean is 32 and it's 75 buildings. So I have the number of numbers, so I don't know the sum, but I can solve for it now because I have the other two pieces. So like, I don't know why I need to solve for it, but I'm gonna. So I would just multiply both sides by 75 to get rid of that. And I'm gonna get that the sum, normal calculator here, 32 times 75 is 2400. Okay, so 2400 is my sum. How does that help me? I don't know, but they gave me another set of data, right? Data set B consists of heights of 50 buildings with a mean of 62. So let's just use the same formula. So 62 is the mean and the sum is still unknown, but now it's 50 buildings. So same process, right? Let's solve for the sum because we can and we'll worry about why that was helpful later. So this time the sum is 60 times, or 62 times 50, 62 times 50 is 3,100. Okay, now they've got data set C. Let's, let's see what that's all about. So data set C, they say, I'll give myself a little bit more room, um, the heights of the 125 buildings, what is the mean in meters? So the mean now is the thing I'm gonna solve for. So now that's gonna be my unknown. They tell me it's 125 buildings, the sum, can't really be unknown. If I need to solve for the mean, that means that I, the sum must be something I know. So using just kind of like the most basic math and logic I can, I'm like, well, I got two sums for the two sets of buildings separately. Set C is asking me to combine the two sets. So why don't I just combine the two sums? So 2,400 plus 3,100 feels like a sum. So what is that? That's 5,500 over 125, 5,500 divided by 125 is 44, and that's the answer. Great example where you don't need to know where you're going, uh, you don't need to know the last step that you're gonna need to do to do the first step. So uh, especially if we have formulas that we're supposed to memorize, write them on your page, start plugging things in, you can you kind of stumble your way to the answer and um, you don't need to overthink it. But again, if you, if you kind of are always going into a question with this plug points into equations mindset, then it's easier to recognize what to do in a lot of cases because you'll be like, oh, I've got half of what I need. I've got a bunch of points. Maybe there's an equation I can use. Oh yeah, average, I know there's a formula for that. Let me write that down, right? So it's about getting things started quicker, uh, more quickly by using one kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, kind of like inspiration machine in your mind. That's kind of how I see this strategy. Plug points in, into equations is really good for inspiration when things seem complicated. You're always asking yourself the same question. Do I have points? Do I have equations? If the answer to either is no, can I make them up? Can I get them from somewhere? And that usually is enough to get you started on most questions.